In Devstream 116, they went more in depth about the Kier Drive system and what is being referred to as the Vent Kids. This is the syndicate that's going to be inside of Fortuna that is going to be responsible for the Kier Drives. You get rep for these by doing. The showed a race which they'd mentioned there's 20 of these in total and it's going to work like the syndicate missions do now which means you can do these to gain if it works exactly the same gain extra rep once you've reached your daily cap which you can do with the syndicate missions once you've reached your daily limit whatever that happens to be you can always sneak a little bit extra in there by doing the syndicate missions if this is the same, then hopefully these races, they did mention something about once a day, which is great. And there's 20 different ones, so hopefully there's not 20 to do every day. Because as much as this whole Vent Kids thing is going to be responsible for upgrading the boards and other things which they have mentioned in the past... Being able to do those races over and over again to kind of max out the rep, as well as the, you can see it in the bottom right there, the points, that's also a way of gaining rep with these people. They did mention a few things about what these posters are and too many spoilers, and they also went inside of one of the uh, fortresses, I think they called them, and showed what looked like a frame, which could be the new frame being. Let's move on from that back to the K drive. And even though they did change the the way that it worked, hence the stunts, there is backflips and other things you can do with these. But the reason that it wasn't being shown was kind of explained as they changed it. And supposedly it works better now for the maneuverability from what I could gather from it and it does look like it does because there was a few times that missing the hoops which as somebody who's played a fair few racing games it can happen a lot so being able to go back and actually have time to get them between them was a really nice touch but you could see the maneuverability in there and honestly I seen this and thought, yeah, completing the trial, um, time trial key drive races, I think they were called, looks like it could be a nice touch. It's something that Arkwing never really had. Arkwing races was something that was, I don't want to say it talked about. I've heard a few different people mentioning it, but never from the, the devs themselves. This is always just people, oh, the Arkwing would be great if they introduced this kind of racing thing and this and... Well, they're bringing that racing thing, but it's going to be the key drive and even down to little things like the wheel, the equipment wheel, they mentioned it's the infinite wheel now. And even though I really just want to make this all about the key drive and everything else and didn't want to include things like uh, Warframe is coming to the Switch on November 20th and they also kind of showed Equinox's deluxe skins because you have the day form, the night form, and the combined form. So really there's three skins there. There was, which you could probably gather from all of the footage on this, uh, Chroma Prime has pretty much been confirmed at this point. It was actually confirmed in prime time the night before. And I do realize this is coming on the 15th. The dev stream was on the 14th and in prime time, that was the 13th. But I'd already done the thing about, oh, it's been leaked. And I thought, well, I'm not going to do it again. Well, they confirmed it again for the second time because it was originally done in prime time the night before. They confirmed it yesterday in Devstream 116. Chroma Prime is, in fact, going to be the next one. There was a few little bits about the melee. But then there was the... And I like the way in the dev notes, the Devstream overview whatever you want to call it, uh, the gang search for poop and it actually says spending 40 minutes looking for animals via the new conservation system. That's the words I was looking for before. This is the second time I'm recording this part, by the way. The conservation system is where you track animals. You have to, you can kind of mimic them and then they will appear that not always on the map you have to do something to get them to appear and then you have to tranquilize them and then I think it's orders or something comes down and takes them away because unlike fishing where 
Well, you're basically killing the fish because if you don't turn them into their base components, they're sitting in your inventory and, you know, fish out of water, or you donate them to Cetus. So on Cetus, the fishing side of it was not exactly animal friendly, even though you can capture them and actually put them on your orbiter, which I think some of the rarest fish I have are actually in there, but I do have an inventory full of, let's just say, spare fish, which I probably should do something with. This time around, they did say a Tenocon, it's going to be aimed more on the, the friendly side because the Corpus have hunted out all of these animals to near extinction, <laughs> which I really, really wish that somebody had mentioned during the, the might of during the, the, in the chat side of it, I wasn't watching that, I just kind of had it on full screen, but I really wish somebody had of if they haven't, or if they didn't, because the fact that it's the corpus has hunted them near extinction and what you are doing is the Tenno are finding them, tranquilizing them and taking them away to, I think somebody at one point or another said, a giant space zoo where they can live happily ever after. Uh, yeah, there may be rare animals, but 40 minutes, the dev stream was nearly, I want to say about half an hour longer than it normally is, hunting out this animal. I think it was about 20, 25 minutes longer than it normally was because they did, Rebecca did say she's not ending this until they find it and everybody else can leave but she's staying and the whole time it's like, well, you're basically just looking for poop <laughs> to find this animal and honestly this is why you should watch the dev streams because even though I have cut their audio from this the whole way through, it is still... Little things like this can happen where, is it a bug, is it just not spawning? When this actually, when Fortuna comes to become a thing, and whatever they end up calling the Venus open world, because Fortuna is the town, the same as the Plains of Eidolon is the open space, and Cetus is the town, I don't actually know if they have a name for the open world side of this, but Fortuna is the name of the town, not the open world side of Venus. I should look into that actually because I've got no idea if they've actually called it anything. And I've completely forgotten what my point was there. But it was, it's fun and honestly you really should watch these dev streams because they can be funny when little things like this don't exactly go wrong but don't work as planned. Remembering this was the, the dev build, hence it's been written at the bottom of the screen the whole time, so it's not a finished product they are showing a work in progress so little bugs expected to happen which is why when they showed this off at Tenocon it was huge because it worked almost flawlessly and then they go to try and show a little other part of this and there's a 40 minute poop hunt but anyway we'll leave this off here for now thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time <laughs>